So this is going to be a quick little video on uh, on framing your alcohol ink pieces. Um, in my little studio, and I got some stuff lined up here. Got some uh, pieces here that are already framed. Um, I've had a few people ask me about um, about framing, so I thought just a quick little video. But I I just want to say that I. I buy all my stuff in Denmark. So if you're like in the States or Australia, I can't really advise you on where to buy it, but I can tell you a bit about the stuff that I use. Um, over here, we got some frames and mats. I have frames basically in all different sizes. Um, I sell my paintings so I, I always have a lot around so that when I have to ship one out, I don't have to to go out and buy it first. And, and the same with the mats, all different um, sizes. So they're just ready to go. Um, the mats, you can also, I have one over here, get them round, which I think is, is kind of fun. Not everyone likes the round ones, but I, I kind of like them. I think they're fun. So, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to frame a piece for you in just a minute. I just want to talk a little bit about quality because, wow, you can, you can get so many different kinds and so many different prices too. Um, the higher the price, the better the quality, I think. Um, I've tested out many different kinds of, of frames and... The really cheap ones, eh, you know, they're not all that good. But if you just need one to hang on your wall at home, you know, don't have to buy the most expensive kind. Um, I buy really good quality and it is more expensive. That's just the way it is. So I just, I'm just sitting on the floor now. Um, the frames that I buy is um, glass. If you buy the really cheap kinds, you go to like Ikea, they have really pretty frames, but you won't, um, usually you won't get glass, you'll get like the, um, what do you call it? the acrylic, the plexiglass kind of thing. Um, this is, is real glass, and the ones that I buy also has UV protection in the glass. It's, I think it's about 45%, so um, that's sort of in addition to using UV varnish on my paintings. This just provides a little extra UV protection, which I really, really like. Um, some of the smaller frames that I buy sometimes has these, which is really smart, especially for the, the small pieces. This for hanging on, on the wall, but if you want it on a table, there you go. I think that's smart. These usually only come in, in the really small frames, but it's 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 smart, I think. Um, here's a little tip for you. If you get your mat sort of individually, individually wrapped, I'm mumbling. I use these, you just pop it open right here. I use these for my ink paintings that I don't put in frames right away. I save these little plastic wrappers and I put my pieces in here to keep them safe and dust free. Just remember when you varnish your paintings, leave them out for a while to make sure that they are completely dry. But I think this is really good for uh, for storing your pieces that you don't put into frames. Um, I do have a lot of frames and, and a lot of frame pieces, um, but you know, when you make a lot of paintings, you don't don't necessarily have frames for all of them. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna frame a piece for you now and we're gonna talk a little bit about the mats. Maybe I should do that first. Um, these mats, I, I usually buy them um, black, black frames and black mats. I just, I love that. You can get these in all different kinds of colors. Um, I sometimes have customers who want it like a white mat and so I just buy them uh, so they can get any color they want. A really good thing with these masks is to make sure that they are acid free. Um, you can see 
acid, acid, I, there's a whole technical explanation for the acid-free thing. I'm going to not actually explain this just because I'm worried I'm going to tell you something wrong. But basically, acid-free means that it is not going to change color. You can see mine. They're black, but in here, in the middle, they're white. And this is especially also if you buy mats that are completely white, make sure they're acid free because otherwise in time, the white will start to turn a little yellow. Acid free, make sure that they basically never will. So that is just another little tip for you. Um, I'm gonna frame a painting now. I'm just gonna get off the floor and um, show you how I frame my paintings. So this is the piece that I uh, that I did in my last video, and um, I'm going to use this to frame it. I have varnished this, and it is completely dry. Um, I'm going to use this tape. This is acid-free tape. Um, if you don't want to buy acid-free tape because you don't want to, it, it's more expensive. You can use painter's tape. That's really really cheap. But I'm going to use the acid-free one. Um, when you need to put this on the other side of your mat. You cut out your paper before you paint it, obviously, and make sure that you have at least one centimeter extra on each side. Um, you can see right here, I have about one and a half centimeters. On this side, I actually cut it a little close. This is less than one centimeter, but this, this will work. But Make sure that you have enough space around and then when you do your piece, make sure that you don't get it all the way out to the edges so you end up covering some of your painting with the mat. Um, I have cut out little pieces of the tape on this so it's ready to go. If you know that this will fit exactly the right size, you can just put it down like this. If you want to make sure that you have it exactly where you want it, put this down first, put your mat on, make sure that you have enough space on each side. I want this to be right here. Sometimes you can sort of flip it off the side of your table. I can't really do that right here, so I'm just gonna hold it really tight like this and flip it over. Make sure that it doesn't move. And then I'm going to put the tape on. I'm going to start in the corners and make sure that, that you have it sort of straight down on the paper. I'm going to do one on each side so that it, it does stay completely tight. Just in case there's a little too much space inside your frame, this will make sure that it, it sticks close to the mat. I'm gonna do one down here. And up here. I always cut these out first. I know exactly how many I use, it's easier then standing with the tape and the scissor and holding it close and one up here. I'm just gonna turn this around like this. I think this, this landed fairly good. I got the same amount of, of white space out here as I do out here by the end of the branches. So I, I like this, very good. Before you pop it into your frame, try and get as much dust off as you can. There will always be dust. It, it's annoying, but you can't really avoid it. But try to, to get some of it off before you pop it into your frame. You can see it through the glass, the big pieces of dust anyway. So I'm going to get my frame. I don't think I mentioned before that I that the frames I buy are wooden frames um, that are painted black. You can get so many different kinds of frames, any color you want. You can get wooden frames and white frames and gold frames, but 
I do prefer the black ones and if my customer wants something else, I just get it for them. Um, I like the ones that have these little ones to close the back side. Um, but there, there are so many different, some of like loose hanging things you have to pop under like an edge and I, I don't really like those, but these are fairly easy to work with. So taking off the back side, also you can get a lot of dust in here on the glass. You can get one of those little uh, compressed air things to sort of blow it away. Just try to get as much dust off as you possibly can. I'm gonna pop this in here and put the back side, I can't remember which was up and down, like this. Now these are also really good, They're, you have two options, so you can decide which way you want to hang it, that's really smart. Just gonna pop these back down, like this. And there you go. I don't know, can you see it from the light with the glass? I think you can. As you can see, my new lamp reflected the ring lamp. It's really good. So I just uh, turned off the lamp because that was really annoying seeing the reflection in the glass. Um, before I wrap this video up, I just want to quickly talk about the mats. Um, besides from them looking really pretty, I think, um, the reason why you really need to use these, um, and I, I do see some people who don't use them, they fill up the whole frame with their painting, but glass um, is very easily affected by heat. And if your glass gets warm, your painting will then stick to the glass. And this can basically ruin your painting, ruin your ink. So it's a really, really good idea to, um, to use mats with your alcohol ink paintings. Um, I think that was it for this video. I hope uh, some of you enjoyed this, or all of you maybe. Um, I got more videos coming up and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you are more than welcome to. Um, and you can click that little notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please leave a comment. And um, I think that was it. So thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you again real soon.